today we are going to understand about conservation of medicinal plants both in situ and ex situ conservation how do we take different methods to conserve the biodiversity there are two ways of conservation one is to conserve the resource within its natural habitat that is called as in situ and second is called as outside the natural habitat that is ex situ so you have two types of conservation methods now under in situ conservation there can be different methods one is a uh, people oriented and traditional method that is sacred forest and lakes and another which is very important is protected areas india has a diversified forest of different vegetation type and these forests have been demarcated based on the importance of the biodiversity in them into national parks sanctuaries and biosphere reserves for example bandipur national park is established to conserve tiger and also these places happen to also conserve the floristic diversity and fauna diversity of the particular species coming to ex situ you can uh, establish uh, uh, seed banks or gene banks you can also do uh, captive breeding tissue culture and prior preservation like that is there in nbpgr botanical gardens like in south we have tropical botanical garden uh, in tbgri that is in palod tiruvananthapuram and tdu which is uh, having ethno medicine plant garden which is very very unique with all the medicinal plant species we, bangalore also has a lead garden in gkvk and other places also to mention few of the advantages of in situ and ex situ conservation through in situ we are able to conserve within the natural habitat the species that are threatened especially the ed uh, endangered species the species which are having decline in population we can also try to get back the population of the threatened species coming to the ex situ conservation we are able to conserve the endangered species outside their natural habitat and they can be also protected from all the factors that affect to their existence and survivability there will be a strict human supervision and all the necessity uh, factors are provided so that those biodiversity uh, can be conserved properly these are few of the advantages to conserve a species every state has medicinal plant diversity so how can you prioritize which area or which place or which uh, uh, zone is having a high species diversity especially of the threatened therefore there is a unique pro, uh, process called as conservation assessment of management prioritization that is called as camp that uses iucn guidelines to assess the medicinal plant species in workshop thus far 21 such camps have been conducted and about 450 medicinal plant species have been assessed and some of them have been updated in the iucn main once we know the threatened plants which places they are occurring we also have to establish the conservation in situ sites so these are called as mpca medicine plant conservation areas this is a uh, uh, map of india that is showing the different uh, mpcas that we have established thus far we have established about 108 mpcas and with forest departments and state medicine plant uh, board based on the importance of this in situ program national medicine plant board 
has also joined and today we have totally about 210 medicine plant species that are uh, 210 MPCA areas in the country. These are protecting several medicine plants and threatened medicine plants. I just want to share one medicine plant site, medicine plant conservation area site, that is in situ conservation area in Kolur Mukambika. It is very important as a pilgrimage area. There we have established Kullur MPCA where we found that there is a good population that is viable of very important medicinal plant species known as Saraka Ashoka. Next time when you go to Kullur, do not miss to see this particular species. Thank you.